Thank you. I would like to express my gratitude to the Goldman Environmental Foundation and Mr. Goldman personally for supporting for the fight for environmental rights around the world. This prize is recognition of the work of the grassroots activists from Georgia, Azerbaijan, and Turkey, as well as international NGOs, all working together to make the PTC pipeline project less harmful for local communities and environment. Around the world, when politics and money prevail, the environment is ignored. The legacy of oil exploitation and transportation during the Soviet era has already caused significant damage to the South Caucasus environment and directly harmed the lives of millions living in the region. Over the last decade, the BTC pipeline has been promoted as chance for the region to eradicate poverty, increase economic growth, and bring peace within the region. After one year of BTC construction, all these hopes have been demolished. The BTC pipeline project, with the involvement of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, and the World Bank, is business as usual. Oil development receipt prescribed for developing and transition countries. This case is echoed in a number of similar projects around the world, including the Baku Supsa pipeline a few years ago constructed by the same players in the region. The billions of US dollars invested within the region over the last decade have still not improved the lives of ordinary citizens of Azerbaijan and Georgia, while the degree of environmental destruction, nepotism, and corruption has rapidly increased. Deep disappointment over the roles of the international financial institutions is increasing. While the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development claims that its mandate is to bring sustainable development to promote democracy and to reduce the poverty within its countries of operation, the bank has refused to investigate its serious cases of corruption and the project's compliance with the highest international standards. This refusal damages the sensitive and unique nature of region and will adversely restrict the right of future generation. The recent political changes in Georgia underline that the Georgian people are taking responsibility for its future. The message is clear. The days of corruption and disregard for human rights are over. The old methods... <laughs> the old methods will no longer work. The changes are encouraging. They also bring a new challenge, the challenge to ensure real sustainable development in Georgia. My colleagues and I will continue to work hard to help Georgia rise to that challenge. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.